what is up YouTube Serhesh Kai here we're back with another deck profile so today I'm going to be doing a speed roid deck profile post do this pack 25 do this of the whirlwinds like I promise you guys I will make the deck profile and it's been a while since I play a such hybrid synchro based deck ever since like Dino Yangzing I don't believe there is a hybrid anyway I believe it's Quasar back in 2011 or so the feeling is not the same anymore because you spam a lot of extra decks like one turn half of your, your extra decks is gone and the f it's really fun to play it's a very budget yet heavy play style I believe and shout outs to my friend Leon for borrowing me a couple of stuff that I don't have so yeah without further ado let's go into the profile first off one big old max aka one tier top rest in peace fellas this card is not coming back especially in this format not anymore but one is enough you're gonna need one and the best extenders take it on board especially in its own decks so like why not play three you want to extend even more and the best normal summon i believe heat machine or we call it bitter machines when you normal summon, you search your speed roids, search any speed roid monster from deck to hand, and after that you can display some win attribute monster, which doesn't really matter because all your stuff are win and the pendulum effect is irrelevant. Don't set it on a pendulum scale. Trust me, you don't want to do that. And this is also one of the best extenders other than Taki Tomboard, which is also special itself, but this card you have to review it active from hand and luckily this card is reprinted otherwise it would be very pricey like I believe ten dollars each used to be it's a tuner it's a free special summons and that's what it does the second effects relevant you can manage it and choose some all your winner triple monsters gains a gains 800 but you never really wanted that anyway double yo yo your monster reborn of the deck when it's normal summons sadly only normal summons that's why I only play two. You don't want to open too much during early games. You wanted to search it out. And two red dice. I can't believe until I played it because you use this effect like multiple times in a turn, not just once, maybe twice or thrice. Trust me. This is important in the combo. You want to see it. You want to summon it out. You want to search it out or whatever. You need to use this. That's why I play two. And maybe one of the worst normal summons, but at least the normal summon is pay off two magic bound it when it summons is a foolish period and you can manage this card to I believe it's target a speed right when you turn the deck and you synchro some summon a monster from the extra deck but it effects negated I never used that I wanted the first effects on me which is you foolish period your trap cards to make a little to make a small combo which I'll show you at the end of the video two then 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 goes have a predatory a monster reborn and it's a tuner and this is something that is quite different from the other list I play triple the wind charmer windy for people who don't know what this card does it is a junk connector you discard it and then with another wind attribute monster to show some wind attribute with 1005 lower defense from deck to your hand and after that you can only special some wind monsters but doesn't really matter it's such as literally anything in a deck you can search itself but we don't do that you can search like any other monsters in your deck mostly not mostly every one of them is defense 1005 or lower so you can discard it to search whatever you need it and the thing you discard is also a fodder in the graveyard and it's, you may choose not to play this because it's a very expensive card I believe it's almost $10 each or I believe it's like now it's $12 or 60 ringgit per piece so you can, you can choose not to play it you can play other stuff that's all the main monster lineups for hand traps two ash and two maxis this is standards i don't want to play that much because you're a hybrid combo deck so you don't want to break yourself by hand traps it won't end well for the spells three speed right emergency schedule it's a e schedule but you have to discard discard hand card throw a dice but 
it doesn't really matter what it doesn't really matter what number you discard. You can summon anything you want, and it's a quick spell. You can add it into your opponent's turn. It's a free two monsters, free fathers, free starters, free extenders. It does a lot. And what more ex better extend than monster reborns? Speed reverse is a not monster turn monster reborn. It can banish itself to add back from grave, but not on the same turn. We like free extenders, especially in a game like this, but sadly it can't be searched because it's not a speed right in its name, so that's that. And for one offs, one iron call, monster reborn, foolish. I might cut Foolish for the new Speedroy Searcher, which is coming out on the Animation Chronicle. And it's a signed mining of the deck, so I believe I will play one piece. But for now, we just have to start with Foolish Bureaus. And for Staples, Triple Tactical Talents, two Carbide, and one Cross Up. I'm not a big fan of triple tactics, but I had to play it because it's just so good in this deck. When your opponent hand traps you, you want to punish it by drawing more extenders or just see what your opponent had in hand and you can prepare it for the next turns. For traps, one the brigade. You, I might cut. I might add this to bump this up to two. One is not enough if you play. If you open up with this, you need the second piece. One is not enough, but it's just there. And the other trap is one infinity permanence. This is for cross out. I never use it. I only use it for cross out targets. That's all. That's all for the main decks. There's 40 cards and for the extras, one gom gun. This is the best link monster ever printed in this deck, other than Hockey Fibrex. Huggy Fabric is does nothing in this deck. Trust me, you don't want to use it. It's a free normal summon. It's a free search. It's extenders, and the restriction doesn't really matter because I need it. One Corp Blaster. This for people who don't know what this card does. It's a synchro tuner. When it's synchro summon, you can activate for, for one of the following effects. Either you search a spell traps, or you get to summon it material from the grave, which is really nice. It's a TG. Dragonfly, but it doesn't have to tribute it itself. It's extra two monsters, which means that if you synchro it with a level one, level two, so you can instantly level six. It's you only need one because you only summon it once. The following turns you have more material than you already needed. One mana marcher for the combo, and also it's a win, so it doesn't really matter. One puzzle. This is also for the combos, it's a level 4, it's a non-tuner, sometimes you need a level 4 non-tuners and you can't rely everything on your main decks, you need something in the extras and it's a synchros, very important for the cosmic blazers. One Hagoita, this is also for combos, it's special summon itself for free, it's a level 5. It doesn't matter if it wants per turn or not, you want it to special summon for free, free fodders, free crystal wing targets. One Chamber Rider for OTKs. People, people, mostly people do know why this card is so good. It's OTKs for no reason. One Charge Warrior. This is for the odd levels, level six. Sometimes you need a level six win, and this is a. This is the better ones I played. Other than the, I believe it's the virtual world stuff. This is a better one. One Pegasus win. Self explanatory, I don't need to explain much of this. One clearing and one fast dragons. This card is really, really good right now. There's a reason why this card is so expensive now, and it negates the extra monsters with something clearing can do. And clearing only negates a level 5, it negates anything in the extra decks, including link monsters. It came up crucial, like especially in the virtual world matchups. They, they summon like C's and you can't negate it with clear wing, you have to use this. And also at any like IP Mascarena, you can stop this. I bumped Crystal Wing up to 2 because I found out only one is not enough. You might need a second piece during your, during the next combo or 
after so but one is just not enough you need a second piece it came out of more often than you think it was and for the boss monsters one flu baron one crystal clear and one cosmic blazers to round out our extra decks these are your boss monsters your omni negates this is the stuff that your opponents wanted to negate the most wanted to bail the most but they can't they just can't kill it do they they also win yeah for you guys didn't know Fleur is to win so yep that's it for the that's it for the decks for side decks I you guys can choose whatever side decks you want so for me I just following in my locals two Nibiru's for, for combo decks two Lancia for virtual worlds tri brigades or any other decks needed one ghost bell this is for shadows for tri brigades shadows it only targets like schisms but or even evocations but if they have meltdown so it just doesn't do much for back rows triple cosmics Eldritch Alter guys you know we all know and more back row hits triple triple lightning storms this deck loses so hard to back row so I have to set this in for mirrors or any heavy combos triple dark ruler I'm not playing droplets because I'm not I don't want to risk dropping my combo piece or even any fodders because I know I know I might screw up sometimes playing combo decks I might discard the wrong stuff and then I can't extend I can't even kill them which is the more awkward moment so I decided to play dark rulers I don't mind can't kill them that turn I want to clear the boards make a crystal wing make any make two negates and leave through the next turns and the last is we will button we play combo decks so if you don't play this you're playing the game wrong you're playing the wrong game my friend so guys that's it for the deck and I'm going to show you guys a the combo I sh the combo about having this and any other random extenders which also does the same stuff and <coughs> excuse me this extender can be anything but I chose this because I might use Takutom board during the mid combo so I choose this instead so what we're going to do here is first off let me pull this up real quick so you guys can see yep okay first off we're gonna normal summon magic bound bound effect it's gonna send the trap and the trap's effect is gonna special summon itself by targeting tar target magic bound by level reducing one level and specimen as a token as a level one and we're gonna synchro these two into court blaster court blaster's effect is gonna search a spell trap from deck to from deck to your hand so if you play the second piece you're gonna use gonna add this from deck to your hand i'm just gonna replace this with the permanence so you're gonna add this from deck to your hand and second of all we're gonna activate uh card turbo's effect the special itself when you control wind monster you can target itself the specimen and after this you're gonna restrict for wind doesn't really matter so we're gonna link these two away into gum gun and gum gun's effect is gonna re re you're gonna banish Pegasus as a cost you're gonna banish it as a cost so you should total after level 7 so we search teratops and double yo-yo in this scenario which, whichever your opponents gave you is gonna be you're gonna extend all the way anyway so I'm gonna choose double yo-yo instead and territory is gonna send you to graveyards and gonna have Gum's effect do normal summon again you're gonna normal summon double yo-yo double yo's effect oh sorry about it double yo's effect bring back territops territops effect we're gonna search the best extenders in the deck which is Takitom Bork Takitom Bork's effect is going to special itself and his effect tribute itself to special red dice and red dice effect is going to target Teratops and make it become level 2 and here we're going to go into Metal Marcher 
and mana drop marches the fact you guys better summon another tu tuner from the graveyard oh, sorry. and we're gonna bring back crop blaster because it's a, because it's a tuner we need it and we and we're gonna make these two into clear wings and then we're gonna make the clearing and mana marcher into crystal clear and we're gonna set this and pass turn so during your opponent's turn you have an omni you have a ak spell trap negate and an om aka omni negates and you have a trap that you can banish a speed rate to bounce your opponent's monster whichever you need it or bounce any cards i believe so you have two interruptions during your opponent's turn just by opening this and any extenders it could be an it could be this but i wanted to something else so you might draw multiple so so guys that's for the combos and i'm gonna show you the next combo is even which is a even easier one because not easier to do but it's just harder to make it up because you can maybe you need the teratops or you can have windy to have you search out which i will i will skip that we're gonna have the two best normal summons to start off our combos. <coughs> Excuse me. First off, we're gonna special Teratops, Teratops effect. It's gonna search our extenders. Card turbo. And we're gonna norm normal summon Heater Machine to search another extenders. Any normal summon leads to extender is basically full combos and you're gonna search the most likely to be at the head which is these two and then we're gonna special summon like a tom box and also card troubles effect we can special summon this stuff as well and then we're gonna tribute take a box to its effect to special summons then 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 call this is coming crucial because you can revive another monster for extenders and then we're gonna make these two into Hagoita, this can special summon itself from the graveyard later, which, which will come in useful. And we're gonna make these two into our first crystal wing. For now, you have an interaction algo, it's already past the fifth negates your opponent, need, or which already inhibited you, but it's just there, so be mine. And next, we're gonna activate the intending close effect to banish itself to special card turbos. Gonna put it back and then Hagueta's effect is gonna special summon itself. Which you, when you control the wind tune, you can itself for free. And we're gonna make this two into Dom Gun. Dom Gun's effect is gonna re banish Chambara. And we're gonna search total up, review total up to a level. So in this case, even if your opponent give you red dice, you still get you still get the normal summon. You make a make it's make a level seven, and you have a clearing or fast dragon. But in this scenario, we're gonna choose the most optimal option, which is W A to hand and dice into graveyards. And then we're gonna activate Gomgun's effect with normal summon again. Normal summon double yo yo. This effect special dice. Dice effect to make W a level two, and we're gonna make these two into Clock Blaster. Clock Blaster's effect special summon the synchro materials from the graveyards, which is these two. So now we're gonna use Red Dice's effect again. We're gonna make W yo into level three, and gonna make these two into puzzle and now we we have a total of level 12 we're gonna make into cosmic blazer so that's the most optimal most beautiful like I believe it's absolute perfect hand two card combos which with double yo-yo at the hand with if you they give you a red dice you can make anything anyway and yeah 
one crystal wing and cosmic lasers. So let's say if back in that scenario, if your opponent gives you a red dice instead, you can still summon the red dice, make Hagoita at level two, and we're gonna make these two into Corp Blaster, Corp Blaster's effect. We're gonna bring back the materials. We're gonna bring Hagoitas and red dice. So now we're gonna use Red Dice Effect, make Crop Blaster a level 5. So we're gonna have these two into Floor the Baroness. So you still get to have the two on the gates. So the, the combo doesn't change much, you just don't have the attack negate like Cosmic Razors do. So guys, that's it for the videos and I'm sorry I, if I make any mistakes during the mid combos because I'm still new to this because too many new stuff released during the boosters and if you guys want to know anything about the list or like any alternate combo like the most shittiest hand you can ever had, which you, can, you guys can let me know down, down in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys and we'll see you guys next time.